With the Force Unleashed franchise as a whole, we really are trying to make superhero games in many ways. We have this big over-the-top action, these giant set pieces, but then we have these characters that are very mythic and very flawed. In the first Force Unleashed, we introduced a brand new character codenamed Starkiller. This was Darth Vader's secret apprentice. He was charged with hunting down the last of the Jedi, but ultimately he ended up forming the Rebel Alliance. So he's become a really important part of the Star Wars mythos. You have served your purpose well, my apprentice. But I have no further use for you. Kill him. TFU2 really picks up with him realizing that, you know what? Maybe this isn't exactly correct, and I need to figure out who I am, and he escapes from Vader. What happened? Where is he? He's not just a one-note villain. He is more broken than evil, and he definitely has moments of vulnerability as well. Confused, you have become weak and misguided. Hide not from yourself. If TFU-1 was the hunt to kill stuff, TFU-2 is the chase to find out who you are. Will I ever see you again? We really wanted to focus more on the main character's kind of personal journey. This notion of what it means to be a villain or a hero and to be human even. Starkiller kind of embodies that. He has all the power of a classic superhero and then he also has this great Star Wars mythos. To have a self-identity that he's searching but at the same time do over-the-top crazy things like crush ships and throw them against stormtroopers is something that's really unique to this experience. We've really taken the notion of the Force Unleashed to a new level. In the first game, you know, we gave you a, a large arsenal of powers and your lightsaber, and we had very interactive environments. Well, in the Force Unleashed 2, you have access to a wider palette of powers, including Jedi Mind Trick, the ability to wield two lightsabers. We also have this new mode called Force Fury, which allows you to amp up all your powers to their kind of maximum range. Force Push might hit somebody like a cannonball, but Force Fury will take out an entire group of stormtroopers, and it is a massive kind of re-envisioning of the Force. where we grab the force powers, and if they were at a level 10, now on TFU2, they're a level 100. We want to re-envision the, the force. We want to re-envision Star Wars. We want to take what everybody knows in the movies and take that way out of control. In many ways, we're viewing The Force Unleashed 2 as kind of like our Empire Strikes Back. You have a purpose, a destiny. And this is an even darker story than the first game. I think fans are going to be very surprised by the way that we end Force Unleashed 2. It will cause them to look at the original trilogy in kind of a new way and leave them speculating and guessing about what might happen next.